एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल कोड फोर्स ए आई सो बिफोर वी कैन यूज करसर ए आई टू सुपर चार्ज अवर कोडिंग वी नीड टू सेट इट अप इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू एग्जैक्टली हाउ टू इंस्टॉल करसर ए आई एंड कनेक्ट इट विद योर सेल्स फोर्स और स्टेप बाय स्टेप सो लेट्स डाइव इन आई एम अमृत जैन अ सेल्स फोर्स डेवलपर विद नाइन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड ऑन दिस चैनल आई विल हेल्प यू कम्बाइन सेल्स फोर्स विद ए आई टूल्स टू कोड स्मार्टर नॉट हार्डर If you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the upcoming tutorials so first of all we need to download the cursor ai install the cursor ai you need to go to this page i will put the link in the description box as well so once you download it and always try to download the latest version so i have already downloaded it so let's install it so let it install yeah so once it is installed we are going to open it so if you are having a license you can log in else you can sign up for a trial version i am already having one pro license so i will log in but you can sign up so once you sign in once you sign in you need you will see this screen so always choose this import from vs code so what it will do it will install all your extensions and everything so you don't need to worry about installing them again so import and then you can choose your theme according to your choice my personal recommendation is cursor dark once that is done you just need to click continue then definitely we need to accept it we don't have a choice so that is done if you are a terminal guy this is option for you but i don't prefer so i will do continue so once that is done now our editor is ready okay so what we need to do is we just need to follow what we were following in the vs code so i will do command shift v and do sfdx so i think we need to restart it once so that it can load everything so let's restart so cursor and let's create project with manifest so we just need to follow what we were following in the vs code so we need to do it allow let me do it again so standard and project name so i will do code force ai you can choose your location i am doing it here in my documents folder and create project so it just created a dummy project for us so now the second step so second step is to connect it with your salesforce org so right now if you see there is no default org set so we need to connect to a org so i will do authorize an org and because we are going to connect with a developer org so either you can select project default or production and i will do code force ai so once you
so this will ask you to allow so you need to allow it in order to connect with cursor so if once that is successful so we are now connected to the org just to test out like the connection was successful or not we can do an open org So here you can see that connection is successful. So let's talk about the editor itself. So on the left you will see all your files. Then you can search into the files just like VS Code. Here you will be having all your Git information. Then we are having agents. You can add multiple agents but we will talk about this in our upcoming videos then here we have all the extensions so just see like we don't need to install a single extension all the extensions are already there because we imported from vs code and same like vs code we have all the other tabs so if required we will talk into upcoming videos so let's so this is that then we have this terminal and the problem and the output section in below then on the right this is where the magic happens. So here we need to give our context, ask like what this AI needs to do. So in the next video, I will show you the tutorial how to ask AI to do our job. So thank you so much.